Yes, good afternoon. My name is Eric Sand from the Sands Firm PC. And I wanted to discuss something that's pretty important, which you see this increase of elective surgery, in particular liposuction, wet implants, and all these other different kinds of things. You know, we have to be cognizant of this that, you know, elective surgery is what it is, elective surgery, and there's a certain risk that you take. The problem is we're trying to get it done at a discount rate, and there's an a old saying I learned in, in elementary school, uh, caveat epto, which is basically let the buyer beware. If it's too good to be true, it's too cheap, it's probably not good for you. And what's happened is we have a rash of people dying from either liposuction, there's recently a $2 million award in the newspaper, as well as a significant increase in women, in particular the Latina females that are going down and having butt implants in like um, different countries throughout the world for a cheaper price. Just be cognizant that, you know, these elective surgeries could wind up and result in serious injuries or even death. And if you have such an injury or death, then, you know, you may want to consult a lawyer and have an action negligence. Remember, negligence in and of itself, you have plain negligence, which is three-year statute limitation, and then you also have medical malpractice, which you get you a two-and-a-half year um, statute limitation in the state of New York or upon discovery. Just be cognizant is that you have to be very careful, do your due diligence, and check out these doctors and these physicians, these other medical facilities, because if you're not careful, you may wind up with significant injuries or even death.